Mike, thank you. Key metrics staying low in the coronavirus fight in the state. Reported less than 80 new cases in the last 24 hours, and the positivity rate is sitting at 1.01%. Those numbers are allowing cities and counties to lift capacity limits. WJZ is live in Anne Arundel County tonight. Rachel Menendez explains the latest restrictions to be lifted in that area. Rachel. Vic, the county council voted to end its emergency order, which imposed all of those original COVID restrictions. Tonight, health officials say it's because of the downward trends we continue to see. Inside Irina's Crepes Cafe in Glen Burnie. A lot of people we haven't seen in maybe a couple of months, maybe about a year. I have an unhealthy obsession with Nutella. Its manager, Pavel Semenyuk, says business is finally picking back up, especially because all capacity limits have been lifted across Anne Arundel County. Buttery apple and the cheddar waffle for you. Thank you. It's fantastic to be out and working again. Actually getting out of the house, again, meeting people. That's what I do this for. It's now up to individual businesses to decide whether or not to require masks. Once you step inside, the health department says 70% of Anne Arundel County adults now have at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. This is what success looks like, and we need to keep pushing with that. Successful metrics prompting the county council to lift its original emergency order. What this does is it takes away my power to create those kind of of limits at the county level. County Executive Stuart Pittman says he's also extending outdoor dining permits through the fall. In Baltimore City, the health department reports that 55.9% of adults have at least one dose of the vaccine, but it needs to reach 65% before it lifts the indoor mask mandate. On Tuesday, Governor Hogan touted the state's low transmission rate. We've had about six straight weeks of uh, really dramatically de declining and improving numbers on all the metrics, and uh, it's really making everybody feel like we're getting back to normal. Anne Arundel County says it would like to see better vaccination rates among 18 to 24 year olds now that many of the mass vaccination sites are closing down. It says it will have pop up and business based clinics moving forward. Live in Glen Burnie, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.